Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave, and I have a great set of coordinating projects to share with you today that I hope you are going to love. I've created this card with the idea in mind that it would be great to make as a Christmas card you'd make in multiples, and then a fun treat that coordinates with it. And these are just some Hershey's Nuggets chocolates that are wrapped in a little printed paper. So let me show you how I put these together because it really is easy. I'm using the wonderfully beautiful Dashing Deer stamp set. I really like this. It has a set of coordinating framelits that cuts out the different deer plus another one and it's a really great set. Um, it also has some of these cute little decorative elements that I've incorporated in our card. So um, I'm going to start by folding my piece of Knight of Navy cardstock in half to form my card base. We'll put a layer of cardstock on the inside of that in just a bit. We're also going to use a piece of Whisper White and a piece of Silver Foil because I like that little touch. Now, if you are trying to be a little more economical, you can remove this layer because it um, will take out a whole step and a whole layer of cardstock depending on how many cards you're making for your Christmas list. Now I also took a scrap of Whisper White and I both cut this and embossed this. I used this cute little edge piece. This cuts a really cute snowbank and you can see you can kind of change how the snowbank would work on your card based on how you position it. Now it's in the set of framelits called In the Woods that coordinates with the Winterwood stamp set. By the way, this is my November creativity kit to go so I'm going to have details about that on my blog so check it out. Anyway um, this really neat edge piece is so awesome for creating a hill or a snowbank or whatever so I used that to create my snowbank and then I embossed it with the swirl curls and swirls I think um, embossing folder from the holiday catalog so I thought it would be fun to have some texture on our snowbank now I'm gonna take this piece and kind of set it here just for positioning purposes I'll move it in a second but I want to stamp this nice big deer with the cool little pattern in it with some night of navy ink onto my card I love this deer it's so pretty you could certainly pop this up on your card by die cutting it out if you wanted but I wanted to alleviate that stamps or that step in my card so that if I wanted to make a whole bunch of these it would be really easy to do okay so look at how awesome that looks now you can see I positioned this just so the feet would be touched by the snowbank so that worked out perfect all right, next I'll take and adhere this to my layer of silver foil that has just a nice little shine of metallic. I kind of cut the, I, that edge is kind of funky, or the corner, pardon me. So I'll flip it around and use the good side up. <laughs> do you ever do that? You always want the prettiest side showing. I mean, this, is, this part's gonna be covered by my snowbank, so who cares? <laughs> okay, and then of course I will adhere this right to my Knight of Navy card. Oh, silver and white and navy are just so beautiful together, aren't they? Okay, now I'm going to add that snow bank on here as I mentioned. I'm just going to put some adhesive right on down and maybe just a touch more up here. And then this is going to go all the way across the whole card so it doesn't line up with the layer as, you know, sometimes we do that. It'll go across the whole card. All right. Now that looks pretty good, but I thought my corner needed a little something to jazz it up. So that's why I die cut this little corner piece. There's two of them in the stamp set. And the easiest way to get that onto my card is to actually use my little silicone mat and some liquid glue. This is such an easy trick. I do this all the time. It's great for adding, oh, this is my crummy one. I'm just gonna chuck that one. This is the good one. So I'm just going to take my sponge, kind of spread out the glue to even it out so it's not all gloopy. Flip this over to the back. I'm going to just 
add some adhesive to the back of this and then I can place it in the nice corner of my card so perfectly I'm not full of glue which makes me very happy and I have a cute little decoration on my card which is awesome all right so Next, I wanted to add a sentiment to this. In the stamp set, there's, um, I love the sentiments. There's any, I call them innies and outies. So there's something that I can use for the outside of my card as well as the inside. So I'll go ahead and take and stamp this. This is just a little half inch scrap of cardstock left over from um, trimming out like my white pieces. And look at that, happiest Christmas wishes fits on there perfectly. So I'll grab my treble banner punch and just punch the end of this like so. Okay, I'll pop that up onto my card because we haven't popped anything up yet and I'm kind of feeling weird about it. I, I gotta pop stuff up on my cards, you guys, because it's awesome. I mean, anybody can have a flat card, but awesome people have cards with popped up stuff. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so we'll put this on here and I'm leaving a little space on the end of my um, sentiment so that I can add a little bow to finish off my card. I'll just trim off that excess and then my bow is a little bit of baker's twine. This is our navy baker's twine, and the beauty about this is stuff is that it's really nice and skinny. The post office won't have a field day. They won't charge you extra for your postage, and everybody will leave happy. That's a nice thing. Pardon me. It is November 1st today, and I'm just unraveling just the very end of my... Ribbon. And then I'll just take that and, and add it right there. Isn't that cute? A cute little bow just adds a nice little touch to a card. It is kind of fancy without being, you know, thick and big and annoying. And it's very um, economical to add a baker's twine bow to your card as well. All right. So if you get the baker's twine, you can splurge on the silver foil paper. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Isn't that a great looking card? But wait, there's more. We need to stamp something on the inside because I think the inside of cards look so wonderful when they're stamped. And I'm feeling like that can't possibly be the right piece of cardstock. But wow, it is. I'm going to grab. Oh, no, here it is. Sorry. It must have been a scrap. All right. Um, for this one, I've taken one of the solid images, the solid deer in here. I'm going to grab my scrap paper. Because what I'm going to do is stamp this off twice. I actually tried stamping it off once, and that was not quite enough. So I stamped it off twice, and then I'm going to stamp it in my card like that so it's nice and light. And then I'll take the coordinating sentiment that comes in. This is the any sentiment for the inside of my card, and then I'm going to stamp it right over the top of the deer, full strength in Night of Navy ink. So then you can really see that. All right, now I have to admit, when I was creating this card, I knew it needed just one more little something something. So I put this in here, like so. Um, and that other little something something is some frost white shimmer paint, because everything's better with shimmer paint. Now I've taken and put some frost white shimmer paint in a Stampin' Spritzer with some rubbing alcohol. And I am going to just shake this up to make sure that it's all reconstituted and mixed up nice and even. And then I'm going to spritz this on my card. Okay, I'm going to hold it about 12 inches away and just give it a good spritz. One or two spritzes is all you need. And now you might not see much on here. But when you bring it up close, it's got a shimmer all over the whole thing. And I don't know if my video really even shows that, uh, but it is so pretty in person. And one final little touch is we need a pearl. You could add a rhinestone, a pearl, what have you. Um, but we're just going to add a pearl to the center of that little flower up in the corner. I, I'm laughing because I have a pick a tool, <laughs> my pick, pick your tool, <laughs> except I... I don't have it at my desk right now, so I had to suffer through and use my fingernails. Whew, I got it, but, oh. So anyway, 
that little embellishment adds such a nice touch. Now I also showed you a cute little treat. So let me show you how that came together because it's really easy. So this treat is very simple. I'm just gonna take that scrap piece of Whisper White. This is two and a half by three and three quarters and a four and a quarter by two inch strip of Night Navy. Now I'll stamp my, what did I do with my ink bed? Here it is. I'll stamp my deer just once more. Again, it coordinates so wonderfully. I love that. And then I could write something on the back of this if I wanted or the back of my tag. Now I'm gonna create a tag by simply punching this with my scallop punch. Boom, wow, that was hard. Okay, it wasn't really, was it? It was super easy. <laughs> so I'll take my deer and attach that to my tag, which makes it, like I said, a really cute, easy um, project. Now to make the treat, I'm going to simply take some Hershey's Nuggets. You can get a huge bag of these at like Costco or Sam's Club for a great price. Um, and I'm going to wrap them with a one by three inch piece of printed paper. Now I've used the Prince uh, stack in neutrals for this. And that's a great stack because all the colors are really neutral and they will work for Christmas. You can um, change up the colors of your cards by using the different colors in that pack, which all will work great for this card layout. So I've just wrapped it with a couple glue dots, that's it. And then I'm going to put it in, um, we have two by eight inch cello bags. Now I've grabbed those cello bags to show you them, but I don't see where they went. <laughs> That always happens, but, oh wait, here they are. So the two inch by eight inch cello bags, you get 50 of them in a pack. They're really inexpensive. And then you can fit four or five of them in, um, in one of these bags. Just stick them in there and they will, usually they just fall in. I'm not sure why this one's being so difficult, um, but they just go in here like so, and then you fill up the bag and then I just tied it on to my tag with some of this silver edged ribbon. So it's a really cute, easy project. Of course, you can change up the colors for any kind of occasion to make this little treat bag, whether it's birthday favors, Valentine treats, or a Christmas treat. So this would be fun to give to your neighbors with their Christmas card. So I hope you've loved this. If you need to purchase any of these supplies, I would be so grateful for your business. I'd love to be your demonstrator. I have a wonderful VIP rewards program for my customers and I'd love to invite you to that because I have something pretty big and special coming up soon. So you, all you have to do to be a part of it is be a customer of mine. So all those details can be find, found on my blog. There's a link in the description of this video right here that you can click on to get to that, as well as links and dimensions and colors and supplies that I've used for everything. So please shop my online store, and thank you so much for stamping with me, guys. I had a great time. I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.